Hello and welcome to Transitioning into High School, brought to you by eCampusTours.com. High school is an exciting time of life. It is a very important time of your life though. So we wanna talk about a few pointers that might help you make the most of your high school years. We all know that sticking to high school is super important. Even though sometimes your classes might get hard, you may have some hard times in life and may think about maybe dropping out of high school. Just remember, it's not the best thing for your future. As we can see here, a high school dropout is only eligible for 10% of the jobs in America. When you look at the big picture, that's not very many jobs. And those jobs would probably be the jobs that you would not be so excited about. So stick to school, it will help you for your future. We do know that many jobs in America require a college degree or post-secondary training. This will give you an idea that after you finish your high school years, you may want to think about going to some type of school and getting additional training so you will be prepared for the world of work. So what do you think high school is going to be like? Some of you may be transitioning into very large schools. Some of you may be just staying in your smaller community and going to that school. So whatever the case is, you will have a different environment, a different school that you can look forward to. Just remember that the teaching styles may change. They're definitely gonna be more flexible, putting more um, emphasis on you all and getting you to mature and grow up and giving you more opportunities. So take those and be wise and make good decisions. This is going to be a fun time of your life. So we want you to prepare for high school. There's so many things that you can do to help yourself. So if you are not familiar with the school you plan to attend, we for sure want you to attend the freshman orientation time. Usually this gives you some insight on many different programs that they have to offer, classes that you might uh, need to take, get to meet the counselors and the teachers and the principals and people like that, and you may even get a tour of the school. So this is a very important uh, program for you and possibly a parent to attend. If you can, you can always take time to go to their website look at things that are important to you. Maybe you're not sure who teaches that freshman English class. Well, this is a good time to try to figure that out. Get to know who coaches what, what sports are available, what clubs are as an option. So the more you know, the less butterflies you might have. We want all of you to make the most of high school. Again, these are some very important years for your future. Definitely teachers will have higher academic expectations. That means they might put a little bit more on your plate. So remember, you have to step it up just a notch or two. However, remember you have to communicate to your teachers. It makes the class go a lot smoother and hopefully you'll have your questions answered and have no hiccups in that class. Remember that your grades do count, ninth grade through 12th grade. So for all of you that think you might want to go to college one day, remember all of those grades start to matter in ninth grade. So work hard on, in every class. Do your very best in every class because you will get to your senior year and look back and think, wow, I'm glad I gave 100%. I have no classes that I wished I would have worked harder in. Some students, unfortunately, look back and have different feelings. They think, wow, why did I slack off? I could have worked a little harder and instead of getting a C, I could have had a B and that would have made a big difference for my grade point average that you have to have for colleges. So just remember, always give that 100%. You may want to choose to take some rigorous classes in high school. Know what your boundaries are. 
But if you're the type of student that might can take an honors class or an AP class, that might be something you want to consider. If you're in a class and maybe you're not doing as well as you did in middle school, you definitely wanna to talk to the teacher, but you may want to consider getting a tutor and getting that extra help that you might need to do well in that class. We want you to make the most of high school. <clears throat> Getting involved with extracurricular activities is part of the school that is so much fun. High school is what you make of it, but getting involved is going to make it 10 times more fun. Find a club, a sport, an extracurricular activity that, in, that you love. If you find something that you love, you're gonna meet people in those classes that have the similar interest and build friendships and relationships. During club meetings and sporting activities, you may not realize it, but you're building character and leadership skills as well. So it's all a win-win situation. Plus, it gives you that school spirit and getting involved can build that resume too. For those of you that think you might want to go on to college or to some type of post-secondary education, Every application is going to ask you, what clubs and sports and activities have you been involved with in high school? You definitely want to have a few that you can write down and say, hey, I was involved in these activities and these are the things that I did and how I made a difference while I was in school. So remember, try to find something that interests you and get involved. We want you to make the most of high school and that means finding friends. Some of you have wonderful friends now in middle school and you know, some of those friends may stay the same, but some of them may change. You may be introduced to new people that venture in from other schools. So find friends that build you up and make you a stronger person. Make sure you surround yourself with good positive influences that do the right things, make good choices, and again, make you a better person. Unfortunately, in high school, there's a lot of peer pressure and some students start to make wrong decisions. And if you're hanging out with that crowd, it could definitely pull you down. So remember, make wise choices and surround yourself with good people. Go to the right places and do the right things. You'll be proud of yourself because this is what molds you and makes you into the person that you're gonna be as an adult. So in middle school, you've probably been a great student. In high school, with them putting some more responsibility onto your plate, you may have to step it up a notch or two. So if you find that, hey, I'm not doing as well in these classes, then you may want to move yourself to the front of the class. You definitely wanna ask questions you wanna take notes in class. It might be that I can't just study 30 minutes before the test and make an A. I'm gonna to have to bring my books home and actually review my notes, maybe for two or three days. Do what it takes. Do the extra work. This will help you with your grades and help you understand each of the classes. Yes, high school's going to have homework. That's your favorite thing, right? Well, we all know that homework does help you understand every concept and information in those classes. So remember to always do your best. Always put forth that best effort and that's gonna help you get some good homework grades as well as help you be prepared, prepared for the test. So how many hours should you set aside each day? Well, it's definitely recommended to spend at least two hours a day. But if you use your time wisely at school, hopefully that can minimize that time for after school studying. So let's have a little pop quiz. These are all terms that you're gonna hear thrown around in high school. So we wanna make sure you understand what those are. So what is the number representing each student's position in their class based on their GPA? That is considered a class rank. So if you have a class of 100 students, and you have the best grades, then you are ranked number one. And then your friend that does well in school as well, they may rank number two and so forth. 
What is computed based on the number of courses taken and the grades earned in those courses? That is called that grade point average. I talked about that earlier, where you know all those grades starting in ninth grade will average together, and that is considered your grade point average. Every college has a minimum grade point average for their admission standards. What is a National College Entrance Exam taken by students? That is the ACT or the SAT. This is going to be required of you as a junior during the spring of your junior year. All of the classes that you will be taking up until that point should be preparing you for that test. What are activities or programs that may meet outside of the regular school day? Those are those extracurricular activities that we talked about. What is the unit earned upon successfully completing a high school course? That's called a credit. Your school counselors will go over all the classes necessary for you. What is a certificate awarded by an educational establishment to show that someone has successfully completed a course of study? Yes, that's the diploma. That's what you guys are working hard for. You want to graduate from high school and get that diploma. So, some words of advice. This came from a freshman counselor. Oh, if you could just be organized, how that would just help you and help others when you start high school. So, as a freshman, do your best to keep that locker organized, your notebooks organized, just life in general is going to help you. Also, manage that time. You may have to prioritize. You want to play pickup basketball, but you know you have a test tomorrow or have homework, so you may have to prioritize. Reward yourself with a little bit of fun time, but you want to make sure you definitely have things in order. Don't procrastinate. Make sure you do your work in a timely manner. And also have a vision and plan ahead. Don't just think about today. Think about your future. Think about the years after high school. So what do you wanna be when you grow up? Some of you have thought about this since second grade. This is a very important topic because this will benefit you and only you. I know all of you would agree, you want to have a job that you love when you grow up. All of us want to go to work and like our job. So if you take time during your high school years to think about, what do I like? What am I good at? What are my favorite subjects in school? What are my hobbies? What would I like to do if I have to go to work? Yes, you want to be realistic. You want to think about all the responsibilities that you will have as an adult as well. You're going to have your own place, your own bills to pay, and all those wonderful things. So you want to make sure you have a job that can help you to be able to live life and pay for everything that you need, take care of all of those needs, but maybe have some things left over for the, all of those wants. So just remember, life is not easy. It takes hard work, but you will appreciate it if you put forth that extra effort now. So you may think, why do I even need a job? Well, you will have those bills that you have to pay. You may have a family that you have to support and you definitely want to live comfortably every day. So guys, that hard work will definitely pay off if you'll put forth that extra effort now. So you do have choices after high school, lots of choices. We want you to think about what is going to be the best option for you. You may choose to go to work, join the military, maybe go to a vocational school, a community college, or head to the university. If you choose to go to work, businesses still expect for you to have basic math knowledge. If I want to be a construction worker, I'll still have to know math. If I want to be a hairdresser, I still have to have math skills. Communication skills are very important as well. Let's say I want to be a nurse. Nurses have to communicate with patients, other doctors, nurses assistants, and on and on. Not only verbally, but sometimes they have to write reports and do things that 
require them to have good grammar and know how to write. So all of the things that you are learning there at school, these are things that will definitely play a part in the role when you get a job. Professionalism, being on time, knowing how to dress, problem solving, teamwork. These are all things that you do there in high school. You may not realize it's preparing you for the world of work, but it truly is. You may choose to go to vocational or technical school. This is like our TCATS in Tennessee, the Tennessee College of Applied Technology. We also have additional um, technology schools around the state as well. Maybe it's like an auto diesel school. It might be a cosmetology school. At the TCATS, you have great benefits. And any of the vocational are shorter in school for about 18 to 24 months. This prepares you for the world of work. There's definitely a few book classes, but there's also more hands-on learning. So we encourage you, if this is something you're interested in, you definitely want to take a tour and maybe learn about how you can pay for that education. Are there any benefits with scholarships or anything in your state? A community college might be another option for you. If you see yourself in high school, maybe not wanting to go far away from home or wanting the smaller class size, those are things that might be beneficial to you. You can go and get your two-year degree. There's a list here that you can see some of the things you can do with a two-year. Or you may be that person that wants to go get all of your basics out of the way and then transfer to a four-year school. So this is just a great place to start. Again, the cost is a little, a little lower and you may want to check with your state to see if they have any additional programs that might assist you. Now, some of you will want to be at that university level. You may be ready to leave home and maybe Go away if there's some distance there. You can also find four-year universities that are public and that are private. Some may be close to home, some may be far away from home. So you get to choose. You have to definitely know what you would like when you get to high school. Think about that career option. Think about what type of education that you're going to need. At a university, it could be larger than your high school, they will probably have more activities that you can get involved with and you can continue your studies and even go on to graduate school. Some of you may be interested in the military. This is definitely a great service to our country. You can take the ASVAB while you're there in high school and this will kind of give you a little bit of information about you and what you might be good at for the military. Many recruiters come by at the high school level, all the different branches of the military, and you can talk to them and ask lots of questions. The military is good for a few years, or you may even make a career out of it. You can learn a trade, learn a vocation that can help you in the workplace. So check out all the benefits. There's lots there to, that you can benefit from. So going to college, what can you do now? You definitely think about many options. We want you to start early. We want you to start thinking about what's gonna be the right fit for you. Doing the research is going to help you eliminate some things and definitely add some things to your list. So when you start high school, I always like to recommend for ninth grade students to keep track of all of your activities, your awards, your community service work, so start that resume early and build on it every year that you're in high school. You wanna start researching those colleges, just go online and do some research. Maybe attend those college fairs and meet with representatives from the schools. It is not too early to schedule a visit either. So we want you to get on those campuses. Go online to see which ones you might be interested in and then physically go visit those that you have weeded out 
and that you think this might be a possible place for me. We want you to research those scholarships. See what might be an option that can help you pay for school. eCampusTours.com is a site that we sponsor. There's over 1,300 schools across the country that you can do virtual tours of. This is an amazing way for you to acclimate yourself to the world of college. Definitely can kind of let you see what certain schools look like, give you information and details about every school so that you can see if that might be a good option for you. There's many articles on this site as well that can help you in the whole process of college planning. So take a look. These are just the beginning steps that can help you plan for after high school. On eCampusTours.com, we also have a place that you can sign up to receive the eCampus Tours College Planning Newsletter. I would encourage you to do that. We also have a place you can enter to win a $1,000 scholarship. This is not based on grades or ACT scores or anything like that. It's just a lucky draw. So put your name in the hat, so to speak. So as you enter your freshman year, know that you may have college uh, planning tips from your teachers, from your counselors, from maybe coaches. There's gonna be people around that want to give you advice. Just remember, they've been there, they've done that, they've, they've gone through that phase of their life, so they want to help you. But remember, you can't let it go through one ear and out the other. We have to put things into action. So listen and pay attention to all the details and do the things that might benefit you. Social media is a big thing in high school. We wanna make sure that you use this to your advantage. It can be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy. So we wanna make sure that you take time to think before you speak or text or tweet or do a Snapchat or post something on Instagram, whatever it might be. We wanna make sure you think, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it needed or is it kind? I have to say, when you're going through that college admissions process, some of the schools will take time to look at your social media to see if you are the kind of student they want to admit onto their campus. Maybe it's to get a job. Employers are gonna look at social media to see if you're the type of person they think is a good fit for their company. So remember to always post nice things, be polite, be kind, and make this be a good representation of you. Social media can positively or negatively affect your goals for the future. We wanna make sure you display appropriate photos and videos, watch how you speak, censor your content, be sure to make sure that you do not repost something that might be of lower character. Take time to do this and be careful what you post. So college may seem far away, but the future can come at you very fast. The years just go by so quickly. We want you to be prepared. So doing some of the things that we mentioned here can be helpful to you. We want the best for you. So make the most of every opportunity you can to be the best you you can possibly be. Follow us at eCampus Tours. Thank you for your attention.